What is going on, people of the YouTube universe? My name is Explosive Lettuce, and today we are going to be reading the B Ball Jones story. So here we go. Prologue. A year and a, after a year and a half, I finally decided to finish the story. There have been seven drafts of this. Four were completed, but I myself did not like how it turned out. Now that my ideas of crossing worlds is now over, here's a fresh story from my mind, my mind only. <clears throat> Um, yeah, the audio kind of got messed up on this, so, like, I'll put, I'll put points where it starts back up, so. Alrighty, cool. It was February 2017 where this all started. One email from a crazed fan changed it all. But a fan by the name of Jessica Porter and her little brother, Jackson Porter, emailed B-Ball Jones saying that they were huge fans and they were from Kent, UK. And they both would love to meet him someday. At first, he was put off by it a little because he was not expecting to get fans from another country. I'm worldwide, baby! He said to himself alone in his room with the lights turned off. A couple of weeks went by and B-Ball Jones was still banging was still banging, balling it up on the court, making some videos, just a normal life for him, and you cannot forget about that 2K in Fortnite, because the grind on that never stops. Then a second email had arrived. <clears throat> this one was really late in the night, and it was sent around 4 a.m., which is around 9 a.m. in the morning for the people over there in Kent, UK. This email was a little bit more creepy than the last one. Hi, Bobby. We got plane tickets to come and see you. Mads and Heights, right? Well, anyways, we are going to be leaving the 30th of June, and we'll see you then. <sighs> he really didn't know what to think about it all. He wasn't really scared at all. He just thought that they were, they really were not going to come visit him. But on the 30th of March, you bet your $3 and wait. Whoa, bad writing. Bad writing. Oh, my God. Duh. I can't believe we're here, Jessica said, extending her arms out for a hug. People and Jones was hesitant at first, but ultimately gave in because she was low-key hot. But she really was a thought. They embraced, and B-Ball Jones didn't know what to really think. Was this all real? He said out loud. Oh, yeah, man. It's real, said Jackson. They were staying in a hotel about two miles away from B-Ball Jones's house, which made him a little uneasy. I mean, it wouldn't make anybody uneasy, you know what I'm saying? Next, next week, man, I am really good at writing, <clears throat> was like hell on earth. Day after day, they would come over to his house wanting to him to hang out and do stuff with him and wanting to be around him every single second of every single day. People Jones really never had any friends before. Not like this. The day was April 5th, 2017, and Bebo Jones had enough of this. He had tried and tried to get... Get these people to go away, but lucky for him, he was going on vacation in a couple days. He was able to go away. Bebo Jones had the masterful plan of telling them that he was moving up north and staying there. No, we just got... <coughs> we just got here. You can't leave us. Jessica said, extending her arms again for a, for a hug. Bebo Jones swerved that thought like nobody's business. He then ran into the house and closed the door. He realized that these people were most likely stalkers who were out to kill him for his fame. So that might, so that night he packed up and then the next morning he headed out of town. The day was July 5th, 2017. And all was good in the life of Bebo Jones. The sun was shining on the pretty pine trees. The smell of sap and warm air. Warm, cool air engulfed him from all corners, like a blanket of nature. I really don't care how bad this is. Bebo Jones could not be more in bliss at this moment. He sat on the back porch, basketball in his lap, as he looks out into the open, empty field. He had rec recorded a video explaining where he had been for so long, and hopefully these people would not be there anymore. But now, that was out of the way. <clears throat> Excuse me, lost my train of thought. He had been joining these had he had been enjoying these last three months with no stalkers in sight, but that was all about to change. Bad writing again. The night was july eleventh, twenty eighteen. B Ball Jones and his father had fallen asleep for the night, but the night was going to take a turn for the worst. B Ball Jones heard some tapping outside the window and he saw two shadows outside the window. They quickly vanish away. B Ball Jones opens the door to his room to see his dad tied up and duct taped to a chair. His dad wide awake with wide eyes. He had no clue how he had gotten there. 
or how whoever tied him by not waking him up. Out of the shadows comes Jessica Porter and her brother Jackson Porter. Bebo Jones stood stood there, breathless, lifeless, and motionless. Yo, what the hell is going on right now? Bebo Jones yells. We were worried that you would never come back, so we had to come and find you and track you down and make you sure you're okay, and I hope you would never leave me again. Jessica got more and more angry after every single word she had spoke, and Jackson was just standing there laughing and smirking like an evil little weasel. We're here to take you with us, Bebo Jones, or should I say, Poopy. <gasps> Bebo Jones had not heard anyone call him that, but his father, who was named Bobby Jones Jr. after the Philadelphia 76ers legend Robert Bobby Jones. His friends just called him Jones, and those times where, you know what, that really doesn't, that doesn't matter. How'd you know that was my name, Jackson? You better tell me right now, or so I'll be God, and we'll beat the little badass right now. I don't care if you're only 13, you are a dead man. Bebo Jones lunges forward and gets on top of him. Jessica starts hitting Bebo Jones on the back of the head, which is doing nothing from stopping him to keep beating on Jackson. Jackson starts to bleed out of his nose. Stop, Bobby, stop! Jessica shouted. He kept beating him and beating him, his face a bloody mess with blood starting to pool onto the floor. Jackson somehow got in a low blow in on Bebo Jones. Jackson got on top of Bebo Jones and laid a few punches on him. Then Bebo Jones got the upper hand and started kicking him on the ground. What? Whoa. Got the upper hand and started kicking him on the ground. Uh, Jessica could take no more of this and she grabs a baseball bat. Don't know where the hell she got that from. And hits him straight on the top of the head. There was nobody to save him. Bebo Jones was out of luck and his time was running out. This is the end of part one. Part two coming out next year in January. So yeah, basically that's kind of it, people. Um... If you enjoyed this, um, make sure you hit the like button. Tell your friends about uh, all this. And uh, I really don't care how horrible this voiceover is because it's going to be going up on there whether you like it or not.